Hello Internet and welcome back to Son of Chief Unlocked Let's Playing Knut Stories. So now you ask yourself what do you mean by welcome back because obviously right here in the title it says that this is part one of the Let's Play. Well, it's not quite, um, because I already did a Let's Play of Knut Stories and in fact this is um, a Let's Play of the expansion containing some more levels um, than the original game did. So if you haven't already seen the original Let's Play, definitely go check that one out um, where I introduce the game and talk a little bit about what it's about and why I'm let's playing it. So rather than doing that again, let's just get right back into the game here. So what does the expansion contain? Um, as you might remember from the first let's play, that one contained just a single map called The Machine, as well as a tutorial that I didn't play through. Now the new game here contains um, four more levels, all created by Niflis. And on the internet you can also download a bunch of other levels made by other people. Um, but what I'll do here is first try out one of Niflis' own levels. Um, so let me just check out the level called A Strange Dream, which according to the text below is one of the bigger ones. And let's see what it's about. Just go into slot 2 here and start a new game. In a little house in a misty swamp, Mother Knut puts her baby to bed. That night, she has a strange dream. The sun rises in the little house. Little Knut is gone. This is what happens next. So this is of course a very sad note to, to start this um, story out with. So the game is essentially, uh, it plays the same way as just the original um, Knut stories. As in we can jump around here and we can um, go around the world to find some pickups that we'll need later. But first off let me just change the uh, game mode to normal to make it just a little more, little more challenging and perhaps a little more interesting for myself to play this game and for you to watch. So the expansion here contains some more new music and some more new um, textures that seem I don't remember this the swampy world from um, from the original playthrough. Let's see what we've got here. Oh that was very close. But other than that it plays exactly the same. It seems like the enemy design is also kind of new. I don't recall seeing this enemy before either does this roll attack here, which isn't exactly what's killing me, it's more me being bad at video games once again. So now I got it sort of by accident as well. This guy doesn't look like he's uh, out to do any harm. So I definitely can't get past this, um, this gap here. This is a little weird. I wonder what this is good for. Ah, so I probably want to trick the uh, the enemy up there to come all the way up here, and then I can go past him. Yep, I'm good at puzzles. Actually, that one was pretty obvious. I should have probably seen that immediately. So here's our first new pickup. Which does what exactly? I think it allows us to... Yeah, that's a good question. I think it... Yeah, this is the one that allows us to climb walls. It's a strange area here. It doesn't seem like the... Um, the Knut species are very technologically involved... Um, or evolved, but somehow... Their world is full of all these strange factories and stuff like that, so at least somebody out there must be. We do some more jumping puzzles here. This is probably just the way back I could imagine. Yeah. So let's save that for now and go on and see what else we've got here. That one would have killed me if it went the other way. Oh, this looks, looks a little bit tricky. And indeed I did die almost immediately. I guess that means I have to make um, make my way all the way back to the top again. Am 
mechanics of these guys are confusing me just a little bit right now. I'm sure there is some obvious pattern to it as well. Maybe it really is just random what they're doing. Managed to get away from them this time. And here's a much needed save point. I think I'll continue on to my right. And that's my uh, general go to strategy in these um, kind of exploration games. Go as far and run in one direction as you can and then go back later and check out what you've missed. I guess maybe if we think a little about what uh, think a little bit about what was actually happening here. So a big bird stole our baby. So maybe we shouldn't go look for it in um, in caverns. Now that we should stick to the surface instead. I'm pretty sure that's a very bad idea and will mean that we will not complete the game. But it just seems like the sort of thing that my logic would. Uh, I think it made more sense. So what we got here was the double jump. So, right, we just continue around. It seems like our next pickup will be the um, the pickup that allows us to jump higher, which is also a much needed one at this point. Well, it looks like we can't really get up from here again. Have to go on. We could go up and check out what's here. So, again, these games here, um, and I think that goes for pretty much every single one of Nifla's games, um, it's completely full of secrets. So I imagine that I missed pretty much every single one in my playthrough of the machine, the original uh, level in Knut Stories. So maybe I should be a little more careful in, um, in this one and see if I can find some secrets around. Maybe that means that I should wall hog some more and do some more fancy tricks that aren't exactly obvious that I should do. Right, so now we just got the pickup that allows us to see ghosts. And I'm not really sure what killed me there, but all I know is that now I don't have the pickup anymore. And I also know that that was not the correct way. So let's try the other one instead. And let's go back down and get the, um, the eye again, the eye that will allow us to see ghosts. As well as hidden blocks. Oh, so now I also see what killed me, uh, the trippings from the floor, or uh, sorry, from the uh, ceiling. Tripping, trippings from the floor, that would be very weird indeed. Also a pretty good name for a song. Oh, again, more trippings. This is a little... <laughs> That's just a little bit amazing. This is a little bit scary, I mean, all these apparently dead people around. wonder what was going on in this um, in this mine. So let's see if we can avoid dying in silly ways here. Definitely nothing for me down there. I just need to pay close attention to what's happening on the screen. Yep, he won't get me this time. This one might though. I managed to get by it. So of course I need the um, the eye there to get uh, get past all this um, these big gaps because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to see all these uh, transparent blocks that are um, hanging around the in the air here. So it's the kind of item that doesn't change the game mechanic itself, rather it changes um, the possible ways that I can get through the game. I don't think I just have to continue around here. Wow. Yeah, that guy you can actually see on the floor. Uh, you see those four sharp teeth there? You just have to be aware of those as well. So I remember a long time ago I played this um, this expansion, so I sort of know what's uh, what's in there for me, but I'm pretty sure that um, 
I will be caught by surprise by every single one of these sharp teeth um, guys that are around. So I just want to make sure that there is nothing uh, to the right here <laughs> that wasn't there before, so to speak. I don't remember seeing that guy before. This is still a little bit creepy. Let's just jump by him. Do you see any sharks here on the, on the ground? I don't. So this, I believe, is where I went down before. But yeah, now there is no place for us to check out here. Um, so we can now go up this wall we weren't able to before. So before traveling all the way back and backtracking, we might as well check out what we've got here. And we've got our... Um, I almost called them high jump boots, as they're called in, uh, in Metroid. Uh, but the, the boots that allows us to jump higher. And here's a creepy kind of forest. So if any one of you have um, checked out the trailer for um, Knut Underground, Nifles' newest game, this actually looks quite a bit like that. And now I'm not really sure that I should have jumped down here, but let's see. Can I make it all the way up there? It's very close. But not quite. So let's just head to the left and see what's in it for us there. Save point is always welcome. Lasers. Not a big fan of those. In these rooms it can be a little bit confusing to see what's in the foreground and what's in the background. But you get used to it fast enough. Oh, that was pretty bad. That wasn't very good either. Yep. I think it's safer for me to go down below, actually. Will these guys kill me? Probably. There are so many things out to get you in this game, and hardly seems fair. All you're doing is, uh, is trying to find your kid. So it kind of feels like I'm going in the wrong direction now, just because I'm heading left, where most of the time so far I've been uh, I've been heading towards the right instead. These guys scare me a little bit. So the um, the mechanic there, you might have noticed, where the enemies actually walked slower th um, through the walls. That's also a mechanic that uh, Niflas has reintroduced in, in Knut Underground. And I promise that I'll make a Let's Play of that game as well at some point when I get my hands on it. Um, as I said in my previous video, it is um, in the process of being greenlit on Steam right now. Of course, that doesn't mean that that's the only way to get the game. You can actually buy it um, and you can find links to doing so on Niflis' webpage. So, if anybody's interested in checking out that game before I do so on this channel, um, they sure do have the chance. And of course, if you want to um, make sure you, you catch my playthrough of the video when I get to it, um, you can always just subscribe to the channel and um, it will pop right up in your YouTube feed. So this, that should be it for the advertisement right now. Let's get back to the game here. I'm moving on um, along here in quite an okay pace, uh, I think. So now it looks like we're back to the factory kind of level. If I remember correctly, we've actually been here before, haven't we? Let's see what we've got to our left here. So that's the way I didn't go before. So this map, or this level here, it seems like it's a little more confusing than the machine. That, 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 that's necessarily a bad thing, it just means that there is more um, exploring to do, of course. Yeah, so I might have to do some backtracking at some point, just because this kind of seems like the wrong way to go. But you know, maybe it's not. Um, I got a bunch of pickups all over there already, so maybe the next ones are over here instead. This is also an uh, kind of area that might look familiar to those who saw the first Let's Play video. This guy looks scary. Indeed he is. 
This mechanic is easier enough to figure out. I'm pretty sure I can make it um, past that river. Probably need something like the umbrella to, to make uh, make that possible. So if any of you out there watching this video feel like or we really need to, to play through this map. This map uh, for Knut Stories is really great. Um, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Uh, maybe um, I'll take a look at it. I won't promise anything, of course. But it is always nice to, um, to get tips for stuff to check out. Make it past this guy? Yeah. No problem at all. And we get ourselves a little bit wet here. Oh, this is a strange area. That wasn't very nice at all. The shadows that kill you. The worst kind of shadows, in my opinion. Well, this place doesn't seem too nice either. This could be tricky, but it's all right. As we just continue on our journey, not really knowing where our baby is, or and not really knowing where we are ourselves. So here I can hold down the jump button and I will jump higher. I wonder if there's anything to my right here. Maybe not. But it seems like it's the kind of place where a secret might be hidden, so let's try and check it out. I was actually able to make that jump. But this is probably just where we would have gone if we had gone to, to the right, and indeed it would be. So, nothing sequence breaking going on here at all. So I don't know exactly how many secrets are in this game. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I'm finding surprisingly few of them. Or maybe not surprisingly... Um, judging from how I'm actually playing this game right now, just moving on at a terribly high pace. So. But at least it's not exactly a staggering amount of secrets that I'm finding here. I'm not sure I want to go down here because I actually already went down there. As far as I can remember. Is there anything here? Maybe a secret along the right wall? Yeah, there actually was. Well, this. Whoa, that was pretty close. Some dodging going into it here. This would probably be a lot easier with the umbrella, which allows me to gain a bit more air control. <laughs> what? Yay, Judy Mee's bird! I tell secret place. Here. Uh, so we have some clouds. And we have to climb under the clouds and get into a hole. And there are mushrooms. And the tower and some more mushrooms. Well, thank you a lot, bird. <laughs> uh, is there anything else in here for us? It doesn't look like there is. So that's pretty cool. And um, I do remember seeing the uh, the cloud secret before, and it's the kind of secret that you would never find sort of on your own. So it's it's cool that. Um, that instead there is a small bird that tells you where it is. 
even if it, that bird has obviously gone insane for staying in, the, in solitude in a cave full of lava that it couldn't possibly get out of. That went all right. Could really use a um, a place to save right now. So where do we need to go? I'm a little bit confused right now. I guess we could go back to. Oh, I guess we could go back to the swampy area. Check that out. But it maybe I actually wasn't here before. Yeah, I was definitely. Did I go up here as well? Same thing. So let's just make it back to our right here. Where we first got into this place. So now I think it's pretty cool that the um, different areas of this game um, are so interconnected. It, um, it makes the game feel so much more open-ended. Which is uh, really the kind of feeling that you want in a... Um, and then an uh, exploration ba base game like this one is. So I don't think I was able to make this jump before, but I should be able to now. So let's see what we have here. Some ruins of some sort? And scary drummy music. There is something for us to get here. Maybe we can jump up that waterfall to our red. Seems like it would be worth a try at least. Seems like that's indeed a possibility. Whoops, some dodging going on again. Did I go here before? I seem to remember climbing these mountains, but it doesn't quite look like this is a place I've been before. Everybody out there is screaming, you did go here before, what's wrong with you? I actually don't know what's wrong with me, that's um, one of my major problems. If anybody ever manages to figure out, um, please leave a comment below, that would be very much appreciated. So now I realize that I did actually go here before, at least some of these um, enemies do look a lot like something I've seen before. I'm not sure I went down here though. Will red vases kill me? Apparently not. But here I did go before. Okay, so I think maybe it's time to backtrack a little bit on our surface and check out what we have um, to our left. Because we didn't check that area out very much. I mean, at some point we came to a body of water that was too big for us to cross. But other than that, we don't really know what's over there. So let's definitely check that out. Save the game here, first of all. Some very angry enemies here. did go down there as well, didn't we? Alright, so now we're back to our house. So I think I'll call it quits for this episode. Um, so this has been day one of Junie's new adventure looking for her little Knut. Unfortunately, we didn't find him this time, um, or her. I couldn't really solve the gender, to be honest. Um, but hopefully, next time we will be in more luck. So for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you another time.